This chapter has been about Adobe Bridge. And what I've tried to do, because we haven't covered everything, but I've tried to cover the things that I think would be most valuable to a photographer, because this is a class on photography. But we're in Bridge and we're in Photoshop. We're kind of going back and forth. And really, that's not a big deal. But is it possible to gain some of the advantages of Bridge in Photoshop? And the answer to that question is yes. So we don't need to be here. There is a button if you are in Bridge. You can click this little boomerang button right here, and it will take you right into Photoshop. Go ahead and click that. Once in Photoshop, you have something called the Mini Bridge. Now, I've got mine tucked down here. That's kind of where it lives. But if you don't see Mini Bridge down here, go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go down to Browse in Mini Bridge. Now, once you're here, you have the ability to go through anything that you have attached to your computer to display the items over here. If I click this button right here, I can even go into my favorites. Those are my bridge favorites. And somebody asked me this question not too long ago. They said, can we bring collections in? And the answer is yes. If we come down here, there's my collections. And I have two. If I click flowers, well, there they are, four and five stars. Now, once you are here, you can double click the image to open it, but you might as well just drag it up there. Now, this is a raw image. Let's just open it up. And boom, you're ready to work. The mini bridge gives you the organization and the quick access to your images without a lot of the other overhead and baggage. But one thing you want to understand, you can't run mini bridge unless bridge is running in the background. So you have to have it open. If you try to open mini bridge and bridge is not open, it will tell you that, that you have to open it up. Over here, we have this button to go back to bridge if you want to. This button right here allows us to select, invert, full screen previews. This button right here allows me to sort them by particular order. Way over here you have a funnel and that allows me to show things like my stars or my labels. And finally over here you get the ability to type in to find what you need. If you're not all that keen about going from bridge back and forth, which is not really a big deal, let's be honest about it, but if you'd like to stay right here in Photoshop, you have the mini bridge to do that.